Hey guys, Justin here. So I just want to give you guys a rundown on neurotransmitters. So if we're going to do a neuro program, you better understand a little bit or the basics about what neurotransmitters are and how they can benefit training and the trainability in say your hypertrophy and your metabolic training. So we'll get straight into it. So the four main like neurotransmitters are going to be dopamine, acetylcholine, GABA and serotonin. So with those, we're going to group them into sort of two. So we've got like our yang or like working um, neurotransmitters, and then you've got your yin or your calming down neurotransmitters. So you've got dopamine and acetylcholine. They're going to be the ones we're going to be working. So during the workout, they're going to be we're going to be wanting them good amounts, good levels of those neurotransmitters, um, and then switching into our recovery stage, um, we're looking at GABA and serotonin. So we'll go through the first two, it's like so dopamine and acetylcholine. So you're going to think about your dopamine as um, it's your drive, your focus, um, like it's the size of the engine. So if you've got low um, dopamine, you're not going to have much like drive to get in and train. If you've got heaps, like if you've got good levels of dopamine, you're going to be motivated to train. Um, it also regulates like your metabolism. It's good for your thyroid, like at regulating your thyroid hormone and the thyroid receptors. Um, from a training point of view, it helps the intensity of the contractions. So having that focus, getting in, contracting hard, good dopamine levels. We can have, like you can overdo dopamine. If you have too much, you'll have anxiety issues. Um, and then acetylcholine. So that's going to be like play a role with neuroplasticity. So getting you switching between brain states. Um, so if you struggle with like getting off the couch and getting into the gym and training hard, like you, you or you get to the gym and you, you, you take a little bit, of, you take longer periods of time to get in and do the workout, um, it can be an acetyl, like low levels of acetylcholine. So taking acetylcholine boosters can help that. Um, but with people that take acetylcholine boosters, usually take them for a learning state. Um, they're like a nootropics. Um, so that will help with execution, learning new motor patterns, um, mind-muscle connection. Um, they also like help with the like your tolerance to volume. So um, they work well with the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system. So that involvement will help increase tolerance to volume over time. So that's our like, two yang um, neurotransmitters that we want to be boosting in training. And in, in the next videos, we're going to talk about like how we'll set up like pre, intra workout, and post workout nutrition. Um, the next two, uh, like your the calming down neurotransmitters or your yang, or your yin neurotransmitters. So GABA is like our brakes. It sort of helps you, helps calm down. Um, it affects how well you'll switch to recovery. Um, and also like, so you switch into recovery and frequency. It gives you a good tolerance. So you, if you're taking a long period of time to come out of like that training, breaking everything down, working hard, and then switching to an anabolic state, that takes a long period of time for you because um, you, you're low in GABA, then your training frequency, like you won't be able to train the next day as well. So if you can switch into a, a GABA state, um, you can then stick with a higher frequency of training. And then our serotonin is really our regulator for recovery. So like the, like it is a precursor to say melatonin. So rest and, um, so recovery, rest. So if you wait, if you feel like you've had a good night's sleep, but you wake up and you feel underdone, um, that can be a sign of low serotonin or you're not getting good quality of sleep. So, these two neurotransmitters are sort of at the back end. You don't want these neurotransmitters up while we're going to train and work hard. These are part of the recovery process and what we'll use nutrition and supplementation to boost these neurotransmitters so we can then go harder with the dopamine and acetylcholine through work, through the workout. So it's switching between these states, um, which is going to get you better results and recovery. So any questions, guys, just send me a message on WhatsApp or post in the Facebook group.